Jesus said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. My dear friend, we have the Gospel of Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37 for our reflection today. Jesus said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. This verse sums up the commandment of love as given by Jesus. The parable of the Good Samaritan is all about love. The scholar of the law had asked Jesus what he needed to do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus answered him as the verse above. The explanation that through the law scholar of God is the definition of who your neighbor is. Your neighbor is someone who, regardless of their tribe, race, nationality, gender or creed, will come to your help during your greatest time of need without expecting any reward in return. These days, people tend to think that it is only the people who come from the same locality, tribe, race, creed, etc. can help them. To their surprise, they find out that those they thought were good friends or neighbors fled from them and a stranger came to their rescue. Jesus is today telling us that the psychological barriers that we have put in our hearts and in our heads like race, tribe, religion, etc are not important and always drive us away from embracing God's love. When you think that you cannot help someone because they adhere to a different faith that makes you a sinner because you have gone against the commandment of love. So just like the scholar of the law, if we want to inherit the kingdom of heaven, we should love God and love our neighbors with the measure that Jesus Christ exemplifies in the parable of the Good Samaritan. The Holy Catholic Church celebrates a great saint who became a love bomb and it is Saint Francis of Assisi. He was poor only that he might be Christ-like. He recognized creation as another manifestation of the beauty of God. He did great penance, apologizing to Brother Body later in life that he might be totally disciplined for the will of God. Francis's poverty had a sister humility by which he meant total dependence on, on the good God. But all this was, as it were, preliminary to the heart of his spirituality, living the gospel life, summed up in the charity of Jesus and perfectly expressed in the Eucharist. He teaches us what it means to be a good neighbor. Reflect today upon our attitude towards someone who comes to us in great need. Are we open? or biased in extending our helping hands to them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us how to be good neighbors today. Strengthen our hearts so that we can love others with the same measure as the Good Samaritan did. May we finally get into the inherit, get into inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus, I trust in you. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.